I'm joined now by our correspondent in Rio de Janeiro, Jan Anosco. Jan, Bolsonaro, I gather, is due to speak fairly soon. What can you tell us about that? Do we know what he's likely to say? Well, at the moment, no idea about what he will say and no idea whether he will actually speak in a few moments. After all, he was meant to be giving a statement yesterday morning, then it was going to be yesterday evening. And there's now a sense that he's deliberately stalling to exploit this situation of civil re unrest with his supporters around the country and, the, and, ex and give the impression that the country is behind him. Now, according to his communications minister, he's not going to contest the result of the election. And in fact, his vice president, Hamilton Morau, has already been speaking to the vice president, elect Geraldo Alckmin, to start the transition of power to Lula's government, which we hope, of course, will pass off peacefully. And what is the general mood where you are? Is, is it very tense? Are people very worried about what might happen next? To be honest, it's not particularly tense. It's really important to stress that the unrest that's being caused around the country is being caused by just a few hundred people, a tiny number of people who are hardcore, extreme right, anti-democratic Bolsonaro supporters. The vast majority of Brazilians have already accepted this result. But because of Brazil's poor infrastructure, they're able to create chaos for millions of ordinary Brazilians. In fact, the airport, the main airport in Brazil, Guarulhos in Sao Paulo, was closed for a short while overnight because of a small handful of demonstrators. They're also trying to disrupt the bus station in Sao Paulo, Chiete. And as you say, they're present in 22, they're blocking highways in 22 of Brazil's 26 states along with the federal district. Now, the Supreme Federal Court has ordered that the federal highway police takes immediate action. There's a sense that they are dragging their feet. And in fact, they've said that if they don't take action, then the Director General, Silvine Vasquez, uh, will face sanctions. He is already under investigation for potential election interference because on the day of the election, on Sunday, more than 500 random spot checks were carried out on public transport around the country. But the vast majority of those in the northeast of Brazil, which is a Lula stronghold. And also the night before the election, he posted a story on Instagram asking for people to vote for Bolsonaro, something which is highly inappropriate as the head of a federal police force. OK, well, we'll uh, leave it there. Jan Onesco in Rio de Janeiro speaking there to us.